come here to show you the Bronte manuscript today, and we're just going to page through so you get a sense of what it looks like and what the actual material object is like, something that you really can't get from scans. So there's another video that talks a little bit about why the manuscript is enclosed in plastic the way it is. Um, but for right now, I just want you to look at how the pages are presented, um, zoom in on some detail. You can see that Charlotte Bronte was actually editing uh, in this tiny, tiny manuscript. And as we're paging through, uh, here's the break where um, the secret, the first story stops and Lily Hart picks up. A little bit of poetry on this page, which you can see. Zoom in a little bit. And again, even though she has identified the author as um, a fictional character, she's also signed it and dated it at the end of the manuscript. So there's her signature, Charlotte Bronte. And that's it. The covers appear to be craft paper, sort of like paper bag paper. Here's a demonstration of what you see when you go to the digital library to page through so you can compare um, the experiences of accessing the manuscript digitally and then also looking at it also digitally, but, um, you know, in a different medium. The thing about the digital here is that you can really zoom in up close, um, actually much closer than you could get even in real life with a magnifying glass, I've found. It's, it's much easier to read this manuscript on a screen. I hope you enjoyed this tiny tour of this tiny manuscript. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us in Special Collections.